Good morning, welcome back. Well, it's a beautiful morning here in the Pyrenees. Um, you saw in our last video, we set all the forms for our footings for the next retaining wall we're doing, and then we poured the concrete. Um, it's been a couple of days now since we poured that concrete, and it's looking pretty good. So um, it's time this morning to do the grand reveal, and we're gonna remove these forms now. Um, and then we've got to set out for the blocks, get those put in, get the rebar, and uh, basically build this retaining wall. So hopefully by the end of this video, we'll we have will... a wall! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hi, we're Ian and Julie. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt-free project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees, and all of this alongside our full-time jobs. Oh, that's come out really nice, Ian. Well, we won't be seeing it. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Under four foot of uh, soil. Oh, that's solid. Yeah, that's good using the vibrator. Yeah, that's no that. gaps. Look at that, solid. Let's see if I can get these up. That's lovely. Get a scraper and scrape that. One man and his dog, always little Floki. Well, all done. Pretty happy with it. Um, I've got to go and check with the block now to see whether it's the right height. But as you can see, it's really, really square on the corners here. Everywhere we've had the forms, it's come out perfectly. Using that vibrator, there's no air bubbles or rock bubbles or anything like that. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So now the next stage, as I said, get a block on there just to check the heights and then mark out all the way along where the rebar's got to be. And I've got to drill, chemically um, connect, <laughs> chemically cement in the rebar. And then it's time to get that first block on. Now I have given quite a lot of tolerance, so 50 mil of mortar for the bottom, and then I've got 50 mil for a capping uh, concrete along the top of the wall, so 100 mil in total. So if I only need 20 odd mil down below, then I'll just increase the top. And all of this is to get exactly the same height as the gabions. I'm gonna make use of these um, blocks we've got here. These are the leftovers, actually, they're the rejects from when we did the big retaining wall um, we had a pallet that yeah they weren't very good so we just stacked them here out the way but I think that they'll, they'll do the job for what we need today but we're going to take one over just so we can start marking our lines and working basically working out what we need to be doing so oh, here goes and they're heavy we actually need two blocks so Get working, Riley. They're heavy. They are so heavy. Judy, I told you, I need to get back to CrossFit. Yes, CrossFit. All right. Cool. Too good, Riley. Yeah. So that means then. Um... Oh, that's a good level. A bit, a, of a, mortar. a bit of mortar, that will sit nice. Oh, hey, we're getting good at this. <laughs> we just need six months rest in between. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Oh, no, that, that's perfect. Yeah. Well, we're just at our uh, local builder suppliers and uh, I've just picked up some more rebar, some more PVC pipe, and also a couple of concrete uh, um, regards, as I keep calling them, uh, manholes. And that's gonna be for my electric and water. Um, but it just happens to be right next to the builder's merchant is a boulangery. And Julie's just in there getting our morning snack. So we'll see you back on the plot in a jiffy. We're back on the plot now, but um, Julie forgot all the keys to the garage. <laughs> so now we've got to go all the way back home and collect the keys. But um, I just took out all of these bags of cement and everything else. And, Pinocchio, uh, Pinocchio. Julie, if you fibs. just can get that last lid in there. We'll pop back home because we've got a lot of tractor moving as well today. That was a whole reason to come down with the big trailer. But uh, oh, it's I'll so do. warm. End of September, well, really near enough beginning of October, yeah. and it is roasting. It's going to be just under 30 degrees today, but uh, while the rest of the north of Europe is suffering a huge storm. Yeah, we've escaped it. It's now time to mark out where the rebar are going. Um, if you look many videos back when we did the other retaining wall, we actually um, tied all the rebar into the, uh, the footings cage and then poured the actual concrete. But this time we did it a little bit simpler because it's not, it's not gonna have a lot of pressure from this, um, this dirt here. So we're gonna mark every single hole and we're gonna place one piece of vertical rebar in that hole. So I'm just gonna mark up, I've just placed these blocks where they're gonna be now. Um, with block of it's quite easy to do because we know that's the way they're gonna be um, because there aren't, isn't any mortar on them. So I'm just gonna mark up where I'm going to drill and I'll have them in a straight line so I'm going to do that all the way along and then next task is to drill a 150 mil hole to slot the rebar in and then chemically uh, concrete that in. So while Ian's busy marking up for the blocks I'm coming over here to our reject pile of blocks to find good straights and also the end blocks because when these pallets arrive for block of bonche, it's not just straight, they're a mixture, there's all different sizes in there. So I'm just going to work my way through, but like this one's an end one, um, and take them over to Ian. <laughs> the block 30 mil. I'll do the first one using a corner. So what we've decided to do, because when we initially mark them, I don't know whether you can see down there, I marked the corner over onto the left, not the corner, the rebar drill. Um, but when you actually put the blocks on, they don't exactly match up with the holes. So we're doing a dry fit of the first, basically, course on each of the concrete uh, forms. And the heavy. Yeah. We've just finished dry fitting some blocks to do our calculations. I've just bought the two pipe saver and we're again dry fitting, <laughs> just working out a drainage pipe because the existing one is there and we just need to join on to that so that it continues along the back of the um, stone wall and we're just working out where it's actually going to exit. <laughs> I think we built we bought a little bit too much pipe.
Okay. Oh, that looks all right, the side there. Yeah. Because the original plan, we were thinking of cutting through the block, but how it lies, it sits quite naturally to the side. So that's, is that better for us, Ian? going to use the compressor to blow out the holes before I put the uh, the chemical cement in So the mortar blocks 120. So I've got enough and then I'll just trim it off at the top where need be. So that's my corner post. So that will give me the most strength here. So I just got to put the uh, chemical in the bottom and that'll all work out. All right, they seem to be going in okay, <laughs> except for this one. There is the rebar down there, but, and so they're going off at funny little angles. But once it's all set, this 10 mil stuff, you can basically just bend up to the vertical, so I'm not too fast. So I'm just getting them all in before this uh, chemical goes off. Last one going in. Just ran out of uh, chemicals, so I had to go back and get some. But that's it. We did it. Yeah. It's in. Oh, it's warm. Too warm today. Right, we'll let that set off. Well, it sets off in seconds, but um, it's just come to the end of the day now. So we will start afresh in the morning and uh, lay the first blocks with a bit of uh, ground mortar. So we will see you in the morning, first thing, bright and fresh. Oh, time for a shower, I think. Yeah, I'm just cutting out the uh, the hole in this end block and that will be where our um, French drain uh, comes out of. So I'm just putting in all, the, I'm just trying to think of all the drainage things we need for this wall. 
So uh, I'm hoping it'll work. So, that pipe, and then I've just got a, a little bit of black pipe. Put rebar in just to straighten it out. But this will just sit at the bottom of the concrete here. So just in case any water does back up here, it's got a release out of this side. We get a brush with this one. Mm. Woohoo! This is a rarity here in Europe. We're always envious of you guys when we see you with your brushes and your sponges on a stick in a tub of glue. And we don't have the uh, cleaner or anything either. No, we don't, do we? Hence the wet wipes. Mm. Yeah. That's slipped in easy. Yeah. And then we've got this one that's going over the top. Yeah, it's my electrical conduit. Oops. Yeah. That's going to come. Just think, when we actually buried all this, Ian, we had no idea what we were doing along here. Things have changed so much. We just right. need to cut the next part of the pipe. I'd say 140. That leaves a little smidgen out the end so I can connect it if, in case of anything. Yeah. <laughs> And just in time, the site inspector arrives again. You're hot, Floki. Well, we're doing a bit of a cheat here at the moment. Um, Pre-mix mortar. I know this is standard in quite a few countries, but here it's not. Um, we normally mix the sand, the gravel and the cement in whatever um, you know, uh, quantities. But uh, I thought for the mortar, because we only need a little bit for the bottom, the first row of blocks, um, I thought I'd cheat and get these uh, ready mixed ones. No idea how much water I need for these uh, cheap bags. I'll just put it in as it goes. I've got a confession. I put the end of the hose pipe on. Ian turned the water on it, squirted all over him. That was payback for earlier because he threw water on me. First block, and they're heavy. Oh, I see what you do, it's for the um, drainage pipe. Yeah. It's more of a relief pipe. We were a little bit concerned where water would go if it backed up, but this is, we don't think it will. A uh, little bit of insurance.
Well, we've got to leave it there for tonight, basically because the next block will follow on from here, come along here and then encroach on the next level. So until these are dry, I don't want to actually put another one on there. So we, first thing in the morning, we'll uh, lay the, the horizontal rebar, whack some uh, mortar here and get the second row up and running. As you see, the sun's going down. It's the first cool point of the day we've had. Um, it's just because there's no breeze at all. It's just so still. But um, yeah, we're sweating a bit. Off the tea, I think. Back, back to our uh, current home and we'll get some tea. Back here first thing in the morning. We'll see you then. Good morning. Well, we're back bright and early before the sun is up. So I've just got a couple of jobs to do down here. One is basically build a small um, sort of foundation or solid point for where the gabions are going to fit. Um, it's one thing I forgot yesterday. So I'm just going to build that up a couple of blocks. It's not going to be all concrete. Well, it will be concreted in, but it won't be all uh, foundationed or anything like that. But it'll be enough for the end of the gabion just to sit and become level with the wall. So we're going to get on with that this morning and build this second level all the way over to the the last step over there and we should be good to go. I nearly forgot, with Block of Bonchet you need a flow of concrete through and these corner pieces allow a cut out here. Now I should have knocked that out with a hammer. It should be just a quick blow and it should knock out. But because I've concreted these in, I just want to make sure. So I'm just going to nip down the side here and then knock it out with a hammer and then put a couple of pieces of rebar that will tie in these two blocks. Hmm. Oh, I got him. You hold it then. Oh. You need to do it from this side. You have to pull all the way back. That's it. No, that's it. I've got the angle now. No, well, the angle's over here. Over here. That's it. I'll do one more because I snap. One thing we can't forget is putting in the horizontal rebar. And I nearly did. I started putting a block on. So this one, I'm just going to put one horizontal in each. And that's where he lies. And then we'll tie him to the end there. And that these rebar will go in every single course. So we'll have a couple of uh, verticals and horizontal every single course. Ian's just chipping the knobbly bits off the top of this um, block. These were our rejects so that's why we didn't use them but now as you know the price of materials is quite a lot so we are using everything we can. There you go. This is forming our corner column. First mix of the morning. And the hose pipe head didn't spring off. This first block this morning Ian's just put on here, that's bridging from our lower step and comes across to join the upper step. So now we can continue with our first row on this next footing. Hence we were here last night, we came up late last night to actually beat the sun, mm, still warm just so we could secure this bottom row and it'd all be set for this morning to continue. Oh, 
we finished our first row on the second step we can't really increase and carry on too much further because we need that to set so we're just popping in a bar of rebar Ian's gonna have to trim it trim the end but that doesn't stop us from bringing this up one more set of blocks just have to keep knocking a little hole out so the rebar can fit through. We keep forgetting. Yes, that's the second one we've forgotten. Poor Ian. Poor. It's heavy work lifting these up and plopping them on. Oh, that's better. So you can see now, we've just taken the, bar, the rebar out, but the rebar is going back along here and we've just knocked out this section here so the rebar has full access and that binds the two together so we've had this issue with this uh, water pipe and the electrical conduit because these have got to connect to the house um, and as you see there is no house and we haven't actually dug any trenches or anything so I've had this idea to put in this manhole here and uh, basically terminate them in this manhole, which I can raise up the level of the, uh, the final driveway. So when we do do the house, I can then trench from this side all the way under the footings, under the, um, the, the slab or whatever we're going to put there and um, join this conduit and put a joint in this water, but I can get access to it. So that's what we've done. We've put in these conduits through the block wall and uh, we're just going to thread them through, cut them off for now, and hopefully that will uh, pre-planning for the next phase. <laughs> so now, 